Ever gazed at the night sky and wondered about the stories those twinkling lights hold? Today, we're zooming into one such enigma, a celestial masterpiece that's closer than you think. Hold on to your seats, because the Helix Nebula's tale is one you won't want to miss. Let's dive in. Image number one, the dramatic debut of a baby star in the cosmic theater. Imagine a scene so vast and mesmerizing that it captures the attention of the universe. Dive with me into a specific corner of our galaxy where the drama unfolds. Center stage, the Milky Way's very own, Iris 14568, 6304, a newborn star, making its mark in the vast cosmos. If you could zoom in about 2,500 light years away from Earth, right into the constellation named Circinus, you would find a star that's fresh on the cosmic block, Iris 14568, 6304. This infant star shines brilliantly, though a little mysteriously, veiled behind a golden curtain of gas and dust. It's as if nature herself has shrouded this new arrival in a lustrous haze, further accentuated by a mesmerizing swoosh of inky blackness, making it seem like a gem on a velvet canvas. But what is this curtain? And why is there such a peculiar dark swoosh? That dark expanse isn't just a void. It's called the Circinus Molecular Cloud, a dense and vast collection of gas, dust, and numerous young stars. If we were to weigh it, this cloud is a whopping 250,000 times the mass of our sun. Deep inside this mammoth cloud, there are two significant regions with quirky names, Circinus West and Circinus East. Think of them as twin metropolises of stars in the making. Each of these regions carries a massive weight, about 5,000 times that of the sun. And these regions are akin to cosmic maternity wards bustling with starbirths. That's where our shining starlet, Iris 14568, 6304, is currently making its home, nestled comfortably in Circinus West. Now every star has its unique flair, and for Iris 14568, 6304, it's a protostellar jet. Puzzled? Let's simplify. Imagine a fountain spewing water upwards. This fountain or jet is made of the same gas and dust that the star used as ingredients while forming. Much of this mixture formed the star and its surrounding accretion disk, a spinning wheel of material that might someday birth planets. At some stage, like a child with a toy, the star playfully began throwing out some of this material at speeds so fast they break the sound barrier in space. This captivating display doesn't just make for a stunning visual, but it offers scientists a goldmine of information about how stars like humans come into being. Interestingly, our protagonist isn't alone in this dramatic play. There are other stars in the Circinus West region, all of them partaking in a collective performance, creating one of the most luminous, hefty, and dynamic shows in space. So magnificent is this group act that some scientists lovingly want to label Circinus West the nest of molecular outflows. So next time you gaze up at the night sky and spot the constellation Circinus, Remember, somewhere in that vast expanse, a baby star is making its dramatic debut, surrounded by a family of performers, all playing their parts in the grand cosmic theater. Who knows, maybe one day, Iris 14568, 6304 will be the biggest star on the stage. For now though, it remains our fascinating radiant enigma, revealing the secrets of the universe, one performance at a time. Image 2. NGC 2174, a closer look into a cosmic nursery. Picture, this, NGC 2174, a radiant corner of our Milky Way, shimmering at a distance of about 6,500 light years away. Sounds like quite a stretch, doesn't it? But with advancements in technology and a little help from passionate sky gazers, this nebula isn't as distant as it seems. Let's take a step back and set the scene. NGC 2174 isn't just any nebula. It's classified as an emission and an H2 region, which might sound like fancy jargon, so let's break it down. Nebulae, in essence, are massive clouds of gas and dust in space. Emission means that NGC 2174 is a radiant spot in space, actively emitting light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation. The term H2 gives us a hint about its composition. Vast amounts of ionized hydrogen, the most basic element in the universe. These regions act as cosmic nurseries, 
where baby stars are nurtured and take their first breath. Intriguing, right? Now, focus on a striking image. To your left, you'll notice a photograph taken from the ground by a dedicated amateur astrophotographer. Through their lens, we can observe the entire star-forming nebula, NGC 2174, in visible light. Within that grand celestial painting, there's an outline section that piques our curiosity. What might that be? Shift your gaze to the right, and you'll be welcomed with a detailed view, thanks to the infrared capabilities of the Webb Telescope. It's like switching from a panoramic view of a forest to zooming in on a single, unique tree. This tree, or section in this case, is a column where stars are actively being formed. It's like peering into a bustling maternity ward, but for stars, how often do we get the chance to witness such deep intricacies of the universe? To imagine the delicate processes occurring thousands of light years away, and yet with the marvels of modern technology and passionate observers, it feels almost within reach. As we continue exploring, one has to wonder, what other wonders does NGC 2174 hold? Only time and more curious eyes will tell. Image number three, the mystical canvas around the Ring Nebula. Imagine being invited to a cosmic art gallery where the universe unveils its masterpieces. One painting that might captivate you immediately is of the Ring Nebula, also known by its catalog names M57, Messier 57, or NGC 6720. This nebula isn't your typical celestial entity. Nestled comfortably 2,500 light years away within the constellation of Lyra, the Ring Nebula is categorized as a planetary nebula. Now that term can be a bit misleading. It has nothing to do with planets. Instead, it refers to a specific phase in the life of medium-sized stars. At this stage, these stars exhale their outer layers, resulting in a glowing shell of ionized gas. Think of it as a star's final, luminous sigh before it settles into its next phase of life. Now, as you focus on the image in front of you, you'll notice it isn't just a simple portrayal of the nebula. Instead, it's a composite, an artistic blend of various observations, bringing out the intricate details around the ring nebula. And oh, what a scene it paints. The space surrounding this nebula seems restless, filled with turbulent and knotted formations. These tumultuous patterns light up the dark canvas, giving an effect that might remind you of the vibrant swirls in a tie-dye shirt or the spirals of colors in a kaleidoscope. But what causes these intricate patterns? Could it be the remnants of past cosmic events? Or is the nebula interacting with its surroundings in a dance we are yet to fully understand? Such celestial wonders make us appreciate the dynamic nature of space. It isn't just silent vastness, it's an ever-changing tapestry of events, processes, and interactions. So, as you gaze upon the Ring Nebula and its colorful surroundings, remember that you're not just looking at a distant entity, but a rich, ongoing story set against the backdrop of our Milky Way. What other stories might the stars be waiting to share with us? Image 4. Unraveling the Mystery at the Heart of the Bug Nebula Imagine diving deep into the mesmerizing spirals of a whirlpool. At the center of this cosmic swirl lies the Bug Nebula, also affectionately termed the Butterfly Nebula. It's a starlit spectacle within our Milky Way, 4,000 light years from our very own Earth. But for all its fame and splendor, it harbored a secret at its core. At the heart of NGC 6302, this shimmering planetary nebula, Scientists had long suspected the presence of a particular star, elusive and very hot. And not just any star, but one that played a pivotal role in the nebula's radiant formation. In a breakthrough revelation, a collaborative effort by researchers from the European Southern Observatory, the University of Manchester and CSIC in Granada, Spain, managed to pinpoint and get a closer look at this enigmatic star. But what is so special about it? To start, let's contextualize its size. This star began its luminous journey a tad larger than our sun. Yet, over time, and after shedding its outer layers roughly 2,200 years ago, its size has dwindled to just over half of our sun's mass. But don't let its size fool you. It packs quite the fiery punch. With a blazing temperature ranging between 200,000 Kelvin to a staggering 400,000 Kelvin, this star is among the hottest ones we've ever come across. To put it in perspective, the Sun, 
which feels intensely hot to us, has a surface temperature of around 5,500 Kelvin. Can you imagine a star up to 70 times hotter? However, like every star, this one too has its life cycle. It's now in its twilight years, dimming swiftly. Over a vast stretch of time, it'll transition into a cooler, compact white dwarf, ending its fiery reign. And if you're wondering where you might have seen images of the Bug Nebula before, the Hubble Space Telescope zoomed in on it in May 2009, shortly after its refurbishment, showcasing the nebula's intricate beauty to the world. This discovery raises intriguing questions about the evolution of stars and the mysteries that nebulae, like NGC 6302, hold. If this central star has been so elusive, what other celestial secrets might be awaiting our discovery in the vast cosmos? Image 5. Deciphering the Secrets of the Kohutek 4, 55 Nebula Tucked away within the sprawling expanse of the Milky Way lies an enchanting gem, the planetary nebula known as Kohutek 4, 55 or simply K455. But first, you might wonder, what exactly is a planetary nebula? The name might be slightly misleading as it doesn't involve planets. Instead, it's a phase in the life of certain stars. Let's unravel this celestial puzzle. Imagine a red giant star, a mammoth entity nearing the end of its illuminating journey. During the twilight of its life, this star undergoes a dramatic transformation, casting away its outer layers. This material then drifts into the interstellar realm. The heart of the star, still ablaze, emits ultraviolet radiation which interacts with these expelled layers. And voila, they begin to radiate with light, giving us the mesmerizing vision of a planetary nebula. K4. 55 stands out in this family of nebulae, not just because of its captivating appearance, but due to its unique structure. At its core, a vibrant inner ring takes center stage. Beyond this, an irregular, fainter layer extends outward, lending an air of mystery to its design. And then, as if painted by a cosmic artist, a delicate red halo encircles the entire formation its glow attributed to ionized nitrogen. Such a multi-layered architecture isn't something you'd stumble upon frequently in the realm of planetary nebulae. Now, why the name Kohutek 4, 55? Credit goes to its discoverer, the Czech astronomer, Lubus Kohutek. In honor of his contributions, a series of these dazzling cosmic wonders bear his name. Located in the constellation Cygnus, Approximately 4,500 light-years from our home planet, K4, 55 beckons the curious minds. What processes gave it such a distinctive appearance? How does it compare with its other planetary nebula siblings? And what tales does it hold of its star's majestic past? The universe, with its myriad wonders, never ceases to pique our curiosity, inviting us to keep exploring and understanding its boundless marvels. Image number six, journey across the southern skies, from Centaurus to Carina. The vast canvas of our night sky conceals a treasury of tales, secrets, and mysteries. Now, imagine directing your gaze towards the southern hemisphere of this enormous canvas. As your eyes sweep across the expanse, you'll find a panoramic spectacle that unfolds from the constellation of Centaurus, anchoring the base of the image, stretching upwards to the majestic Carina. But what exactly are you witnessing here? The scene displays a segment of our very own galaxy, the Milky Way. Think of the Milky Way as a grand cosmic spiral, a vast collection of stars, nebulae, and other astronomical wonders, all swirling in a dance that spans billions of years. And nestled within this celestial ballet is the Carina Nebula, which emerges as a distinctive reddish patch near the top of our visual journey. For those unfamiliar with the term nebula, let's shed some light. Nebulae are essentially great clouds of gas and dust in space, often acting as cosmic nurseries where new stars are born. They come to life, radiating brilliant hues when the gas within them is energized by the stars they've nurtured. Now, the Carina Nebula isn't just any ordinary nebula. Located a staggering 7,500 light-years from us, it stands as one of the largest nebulae we've discovered. But how can we comprehend such a distance? Imagine a beam of light, the fastest thing in our universe, taking 7,500 years to travel from the Carina Nebula to Earth. It's an expanse that boggles the mind, isn't it? 
What stories might the Carina Nebula have whispered to the stars it cradled? How has its luminescent presence shaped the tales of civilizations that looked up in wonder? As you marvel at the Southern Milky Way, remember that every speck of light, every hue holds a narrative, awaiting the curious minds who seek to unravel it. Image number seven, the chaotic aftermath, glimpsing the supernova remnant. In 63, a, the universe holds within its vast expanse a plethora of tales, and every once in a while, our telescopes capture a chapter from one of these enthralling stories. Thanks to the keen eyes of the Webb Space Telescope, we get an intimate look at a rambunctious swirl of gas and dust, a testament to a cosmic event of immense power. This swirling entity goes by a few names, such as DML 243, LHA 120, N63A, or SNR 0535660, but let's simplify it and call it N63A for our journey. But what led to such a dramatic display in the celestial theater? N63. A is not just any cosmic feature, it's a supernova remnant. To break that down, it's like a celestial fingerprint left behind after a star's grand finale. Imagine a star, much more massive than our sun, reaching the end of its life cycle. As its fuel dwindles, the star can no longer support its colossal weight, leading to a dramatic explosion, a supernova. This explosion releases an unimaginable amount of energy, casting off the star's outer layers and scattering them into the surrounding cosmos. It's fascinating to think that the complex tapestry we observe in N63A started with a single star's explosive demise. This celestial fingerprint lies in the constellation Dorado, a constellation named after the golden mahi-mahi fish, situated a mind-bending 150,000 light-years from us. It's a distant beacon in the universe. Just ponder for a moment. The light we see from N63. A began its journey towards us 150,000 years ago. What was Earth like then? As you immerse yourself in the intricate details of this image, consider the elements within. The material you see has potential. Over time, the remnants of supernovae like N63A can coalesce, eventually forming new stars and even planets. It's a cycle of stellar birth, death, and rebirth. So, in a way, the chaos of N63A symbolizes a new beginning. What wonders might emerge from its depths in the eons to come? The universe, in its boundless wisdom, will reveal in time. Image number eight, peering deep into the enigma, the Helix Nebula unveiled. In the vast tapestry of the cosmos, certain wonders stand out, beckoning us to understand them better. One such wonder is the Helix Nebula, often cataloged as NGC 7293. Situated comfortably within the constellation Aquarius, this nebula is a mere 700 light years away, making it one of our celestial neighbors. But how well do we truly know our neighbor? Through the lens of modern technology, a composite image paints a vibrant portrait of the Helix Nebula, shedding light on its intricacies. It's astounding to think that to encapsulate the entirety of this grand nebula, the might of not one but two telescopes was required. Now that's a testament to its impressive spread across the sky. At first glance, one might liken the helix to a donut due to its circular shape when viewed from Earth. But as any detective will tell you, first impressions don't always reveal the whole story. Dive a little deeper and a fascinating revelation emerges. Contrary to its straightforward appearance, the helix isn't just a simple celestial pastry. Recent observations suggest an even more captivating structure. Imagine two gaseous disks swirling and dancing in a cosmic ballet aligned almost perpendicular to one another. Quite the departure from our donut assumption, isn't it? So what's the backstory of this captivating formation? The Helix Nebula is a planetary nebula, but don't let the name fool you. It doesn't relate to planets. Instead, the term planetary nebula describes the luminous envelope of gas released by stars akin to our sun in the twilight of their existence. As these stars exhaust their fuel, they expel their outer layers, leaving behind a radiant shell that we perceive as a nebula. It's intriguing to ponder on the life of the star that birthed the helix. What cosmic tales would it share if it could? As we marvel at the helix nebula's splendor, it's a poignant reminder of the cyclical nature of the universe. Stars live, they transform, and in their final acts, they offer up wonders like the helix for us to admire. 
Isn't it curious how something so distant can teach us so much? What other mysteries might the Helix Nebula hold waiting to be uncovered? The universe beckons, and with every revelation, we come one step closer to understanding our place within this grand cosmic narrative. As we journey back from the depths of space and the captivating tale of the Helix Nebula, we're left with a burning question. What do you believe the inner workings of these celestial bodies can reveal about our universe's grand design? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this cosmic ride, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more adventures, and click on the video appearing on your screen now to continue exploring the mysteries of the cosmos with us.